people always say, what, what is it about you that you think makes you who you are? Uh, I think before I was anything, I was curious. And I always wanted to keep learning. No matter where you're at in life, you have to keep asking yourself and be honest with yourself, uh, is it working for you? Am I happy with this? Probably the answer is always gonna be no. You're always gonna keep searching, keep trying to expand. And that's, that's my attitude. I'm always trying to, to see how can I get this better? But also happy with where you're at. You can't get caught up in the past and you cannot get caught up in, in your goals. Set your goals, but then let them go. Let's be happy now and you can't get to where you want to go. If you're not taking care of business right now, you'll never get to where you want to go. Scholars Hope was a local charity that's been around for about 20 years in Huntington Beach, which is where I'm from. This little mile square radius was the 11th poorest district in all of America. And so these kids from that area, uh, they developed this program to help them. And it's centered around not just math, science, English, all the normal stuff. It's about emotional intelligence. It's about grit. It's about forgiveness for yourself. It's about growth, okay, curiosity, all these things. I don't care how smart you are. If you don't have that full circle and, and that balance of joy and happiness, willingness to, to go through what you're afraid of, then you won't be successful. And that's what this Scholar's Hope is all about. And once I found out that they're about expanding that to every community, I was like, man, I'm on board with that. And it starts with the kids at, you know, second, third grade. If you want to change generations, you got to start them there. You have to change the mentality, and that's what they're all about. Sports, in general, I think, is a great teacher of life. Discipline, hard work, dedication, learning to get along with others, common goal, all these different things that go into sports. But the biggest one for me, the one that I think is really important, is that you forgive yourself. My second year in the league, everybody knows this story. I led the NFL and dropped passes, and I was beating myself up because I was so hard on myself. I was like, oh, who am I? I can't drop. I'm working so hard. And I was working hard. It wasn't a problem with that. It was a mentality. But in order to be present, you have to forgive yourself, no matter what, and know that it's okay to screw up, and I'm going to get it right this time. That took me a while. All this stuff is easy said, but it's about connecting those words and what you're learning to, to hear in your heart. And that takes a, that's a process. Everybody wants it to happen right away, but you got to be willing to go through it. you got to sit there and be scared, be vulnerable. And then that's where the growth is.